There is no reason anymore not to run Windows 10 Pro retail version on your PC, get it now $12.50 only, instant delivery on a brand new secured web store. Hello, welcome to part, welcome to part 53 of this Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition, the 2021 Ultimate Graphics Edition, as always based on the uh, tutorial, the 2021 tutorial. We are here with uh, Serana, which looks a little bit sad, <laughs> that looks weird, not sure if this is uh, a bug or something, but anyway, um, we were here at Soul Kern where we did find her mother, uh, Valerica, and now we were somewhat instructed to get out of here. So let's activate the compass and let's see how we can get out of here. And that is by going here. Okay, so let's return to Temriel. That's the wrong shout. So, is there a way? Okay, we can go here. So that means we have now two out of three Elder Scrolls. Okay. Oh, that guy is rebuilding again. Or what? We can maybe hit him. Stay your weapons. Oh. I would speak with you, Quandari. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. Well, that sucks for you. The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. Hmm. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. All right. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor. Sure. What shall it be now? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. Mm -hmm. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Oh, wow. Okay. Do me this simple honor. And I will fight at your side as huh. your Graze Maz. Oh, wow. yeah, for sure. Your ally. And teach you my thum. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely I want don't him. don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is... There was a time when I called Tamriel my the Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. 
battles. I was. But unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. Mm, okay. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. Well, you failed. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time yep. there. Yep. Sure. When you will call. In my language, the Quanar, you are the Dova Keen. Yep. The Dragonborn. You may not be one of us in body. But oh, you thanks have about that. So that's uh, pretty nice. We can um, call him. Oh, but we need to have uh, uh, a lot of dragon, uh, uh, dra uh, dragon souls in order to be able to do that. So we need to kill more dragons, guys, really. Um, dragon souls. Yeah, we need to. Uh, we need to have dragon souls to unlock shouts. That's what it is. Okay. Well, thank you, buddy. But we need to go. So, um, we'd love to stay around. Let's uh, create a new safe and create a quick safe. And let's get out of here to Tamriel back. Now, by the way, uh, yeah, something which is obvious probably, but sprinting is uh, pressing a button, not holding it, so it's a toggle. While in old Skyrim, uh, sprinting had to be done by holding your sprint button, if I'm not mistaken. That's one of the weird differences that Skyrim Special Edition has, according to Skyrim, while it is not even known that, uh, yeah, that, that much known as far as I know. I didn't know that. Until you started to play and then you wanted to hold sprint, but it's not working, so you have to tap it and then it works. But even then, sometimes it doesn't really work that well, so it's it can be a little bit confusing, uh, these small changes. For the rest, for me, Skyrim Special Edition is just, you know, an improved 64-bit version of Skyrim, and um, that's how I treat it. It's, uh, yeah, we're running over 250 mods, and it, it all runs fine, you know, and it looks great, so... That's why I really, really love it. So, can we finally... How long do we have to walk still? Oh, man, so far. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, that was... Um, oh, here it is already. Cool. That was... Uh, it's here in Soul Kern. Is uh, Serana still with us? Oh, there she is, yeah. Pretty sure she can keep, can keep up. I have to say, I never found Donger that interesting the first time I played it, but yeah, it's pretty cool, you know. But back then, I can't remember. Um, hello, I can't, I can't remember the Soul Cairn wasn't really that interesting. I find it a really annoying place. My uh, controller is rumbling for some reason. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's pretty interesting if you pay attention to the story, you know. And um, I only could remember Serana really that uh, she was one of the few interesting NPCs uh, Skyrim had because I don't think they have that many interesting NPCs. Maybe the guys from the Thieves Guild, from um, Dark Brotherhood, you know, the companions. But I also didn't find them that much interesting. Maybe Kodlak, like the leader, was a pretty interesting guy. But 
for the rest, um, yeah. And of course, Cicero from uh, Dark Brotherhood. We're going to uh, meet him later. Hope oh, that's not a spoiler, by the way, but uh, pretty sure you guys played Skyrim, right, already. Probably a lot of you know the story and all the side quests and all. So, let's see. Can we create a potion? Oh, nice. Cool. Okay, so I would say on to the next uh, Elder Scroll. Let's see, because I did add extra um, dialogue options with Serana. As she has something to say to us. Let's go. Dexian said something about that scroll. What was it? Something to do with dragons, I think. Maybe we should try asking at the College of Winter. Okay, okay, okay. So I figured it would be more of an issue for you. Don't tell me you're that naive. Really? Oh. <laughs> wow. All right, well... What do you think my father's going to do once we bring the bow to him? <laughs> he wants to use it. Of course he will. But at that point, he'll have everything he's ever wanted. He won't need either of us anymore. You'll have shown yourself to be strong, which means you can't be allowed to just stick around. And I'll be unnecessary once he has it. Okay. Not until we have the bow, but you're right. This won't be easy, but we can handle it. Um, what is this? What is it? It's intimate. For us. Why? <laughs> oh, I... I see. Well, what did I say? I should have been... Turned, okay. <laughs> so was right it like a me. flirt or something? Um, okay. Let's go. So, let's see. Let's make sure we activate the quests. Um, learn the first word of the soul tear shout. Okay. Yeah, that's um. Uh, it's probably something which uh, needs a lot of um, work in order to do that. Okay, so we can now leave this place. Can we do that? And we need to go to probably the College of Winter Holds. Yeah, I would say let's go to Winter Hold to um find out if they know something there. Currently night, so we can fast travel. Where's winter holds? Okay, it actually has a quest marker. That's good. But I'm wondering if they're not like at the um, the tomb where everyone was going to. Okay, let's go. Let's see who we can ask for additional help. Okay, yeah, everyone is going to that crypt, so it's a good thing we are uh, still here. Yes. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Um. Oh, is it a dragon? Of course. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not. That is a dragon. Much. So don't get your hopes up. Mostly lies. Levin okay. <laughs> uh, let's uh, first kill this dragon. I would say. Fight well. Oh, I'm vulnerable to fire as well. So, so let's heal ourselves. Okay, uh, let's um, choose the pill blade. Let's summon us a friend. Okay. 
but what does the quest say regarding um, regarding this? First, let's uh, loot the loot the dragon. Let's have all the dragon bones and the gold. Nice. And we have a dragon soul. I need to ask you to stop. That's <laughs> you. You are the harbinger of the companions. It is my honor to stand before you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we weren't done talking about the Elder Scroll. We want more information about it. But all of a sudden, we got interrupted by a dragon. But yeah, dragons are not... Uh, they look like they're not super strong, but we are vulnerable to fire as a uh, vampire. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. And what do you plan to do with it? I knew it. Everyone comes in. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk them. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Mm, wow. The simplest way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods, especially mm -hmm. the falsehoods. Now we learn anything, a thing or two about Elder Scrolls. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. So yeah, simply said they're- Sorry, talking okay. about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them develop. What I want to say, back. if I want, I want to explain more simple, it's like a yeah. Uh, there are things which are affected by space and time, I guess, or in which are different in space and time. Who knows? Something like that. So maybe they are. If if this world exists somewhere in the universe of uh, Tamriel, you know, and this planet. And who knows, they are already further than us <laughs> when it comes to uh, space and time technology. But uh, it's pretty funny if you think about it. All right. Ah, you think that even if I did, it would be kept under the highest yeah, yeah, security? Yeah, okay. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. I'll bring everything. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly okay. lies. Please make sure your hands are clean before touching anything. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so let's see what, um, okay, he's probably going to, study, uh, check his books, I guess. Mage lights, I want to favorite it actually. He doesn't seem to be bothered by a mage light. So, let's see what he knows about uh, Elder Scrolls and where we need to go. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. Mm -hmm. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact. But, well, that was years ago. Ugh. Haven't heard from him since. Okay. So, yeah. So, right now, are you ready? We need to travel. I guess. 
So let's see, what are the quests we have now? Okay, it's over here. Hmm. All right, let's go there then. It's, it's pretty close nearby here at uh, the College of Winterhold. Actually, what time is it? It's Oh, it's right in the morning. Hmm, okay. So let's go to this dungeon then. If we can. So we need to... Yeah, <laughs> this is not going to work. We can't just simply jump out of this. I would say we are... We can better maybe travel from here, from this tomb. And then, yeah, we have to just... Let's see, can we make this a um, map marker or something? No, we cannot, but that's all right. We just follow the compass. Let's quick save. Yeah, well, we have to like travel. Uh, this sucks because we... Um, it's in the morning and it means my stamina will not regenerate. So we need to either... Um, Use all the uh, sprint shouts. And even a horse wouldn't really do any well, I think, here. How far is it, actually? Uh, it's not that super, super far, so... Should be fine, I guess. Let's see, there is a Nirn root here. And there is somewhat of a altar. And there is this cage, or maybe a trap. Hmm, okay. Ah, look at this. A book, just for the taking. And a scroll? Oh, nice. Okay, dokie, so we are probably going to face the sun. We need to swim a little bit as well. Hmm, okay. Well, let's just do that then. I'm afraid we have no other options. He was probably able to um, get a boat, but we are not. So can we... Yeah. You got any ice, I wanted to say, but that seems to work. Let's see. Are we getting... Oh, we're getting a lot closer. So let's... Uh, quick save. Now let's see what he is about to um, tell us, if that guy is still alive, that is, of course. Not sure if Serana, by the way, is able to get here by herself. Oh, look, there is a... Uh... Hello, can we... Nah, I don't think Serana is able to get here. But she'll probably spawn right behind us once we're going to enter that over there. Look how cool the sunlight uh, looks. You know what? I'm actually gonna uh, create a screenshot of that if it's okay with you guys. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe we use it once as one of the thumbnails. What I usually do with screenshot, by the way, is I start a different on a different character. This also looks really cool. And um, let's see. Let's type in TM to hide that. And what I wanted to say is what I usually do is I will I have a different character with all kind of uh, fast movement uh, items, you know, uh, where I specifically create screenshot on with that character. So I usually walk around Skyrim, fly commands until I see something nice, and then I will create screenshots of that. So that's how I usually get uh, screenshots. Here is Serana. You are fast. So let's see if this guy is here. We'll look at that this thing. Hello? Dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your Elder Scrolls. Indeed. The Empire. They absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Mm. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its... Here, 
Okay. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Uh huh. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in no. return. No. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scroll. In the okay. depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon under deep below the dark. Mm, okay. The hidden keep. Tower Mazark. Oftan, the point of puncture. Delve to its limits and but not all can enter there. Only Septimus mm. knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two ah, ships. Okay. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to... The edged lexicon for inscribing. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Thank you for pushing me back from M. Serana, but uh, he knows yeah, I guess we have to go there then. Okay. The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing to glimpse the world inside an elf. The Dwemer found a loophole, as they always do. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When okay. it brim, you look to your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls, they look left and right in the stream of time. Ah, the future and past are as one. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the... Ooh, an observant one. <laughs> How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox inside is the heart. But it was hidden away. Someone else. Mm, okay. Unseen. Unknown found the heart and with a flair for the ironical used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an elder scroll. Nope. Okay, thanks. Well look at this. Looks pretty cool, right? This contraption. I remember this, I have to be honest. I remember this from um, my first playthrough. Okay, we cannot steal this stuff, unfortunately. So that means we need to... Let's see, what, where actually do we need to go? Where is this? Okay, it's right here. So, let's... Um, oh, I have a bit of Sarthal as well. There, there is where the uh, guys from Winterhold are going through, right? So that means we need to, maybe we can fast travel from that uh, location now. Okay, thanks, uh, buddy. So we need to go here. And let's go to this Dwemer dungeon. I haven't done any in this uh, entire, in all these Let's Play parts. Pretty funny. We're at part 53 now, but I haven't seen a single uh, of these Dwemer ruins. Oh man, I'll... I'll I would be so glad if I uh, lost my vampire wrist and I'm able to f travel by day again, normally. Okay, so let's see where it is. We need to go to Winterhall. Here we are. So we can either use the sideless pit as our closest points. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's the closest uh, towards where we need to go. 
Okay. Um, sure. So. Where is this? Let's uh, activate the compass. Yeah, well, let's just travel then. I mean, uh, nothing really else we can do, I guess. Except then to enjoy the wonderful view here. I see wolves. Have they seen me? Probably not, right? I'm not going to waste my good arrows on those guys, so I'm going to choose the steel arrows. Yep. Let's see if I'm able to hit one of them. Yep. <laughs> that was a good hit. Oh, wow. Not too bad with control room, if I may say so myself. Let's see, am I going to hit this guy? Yeah, also. Let's see, can we hit this one? Nope. Or maybe we can. And two attempts. Ah, not too bad, if I may say so myself. We're starting to learn controller A more and more. That's uh, also when I see guys playing Call of Duty on the console, you know. I'm always like, how can you play this on a controller? But I can't imagine if you didn't really play PC much and you really started at a controller that you, of course, getting better and better at the controller with, uh, with a game like Call of Duty. But uh, eventually a skilled mouse and keyboard player probably will always win from them. So, okay, we want to go with the Pill Blade. Let's see if we have enough enchantments on this. Thing. The pill blade has no enchantments anymore, so we need to fill it again in order to it for it to be useful. Let's see, are there any other characters who want to uh, fight with us here or creatures? Look at this. What do you think about it, Serana? Definitely looks like something out of this world. That's done pretty well in my opinion. Very cool. Okay, so how do we get in here? How do we open this? Or do we need... Oh, maybe we need to go there now. Let's see. It's not in here? It's in here then, I guess. Where do we need to go? Hmm. Oh wow, <laughs> look at this, looks cool, but pretty dangerous as well. Ah, oh, wolves, okay. Let's see if we can kill him. If he stops running away all the time. Oh, it's an ice wolf. Oh, we'll level up. Yeah, this, uh, the pill blade is such a great weapon because it does 25 frost damage and 50 points of stamina damage. So that means, you know, um, and also the weaker creatures and people flee up for 30 seconds is nice if you have a lot of these uh, enemies. But also, yeah, wh what do these creatures have maybe? 100 stamina or something, so in two hits they're completely out of stamina, which is really cool. So it's super effective against uh, these kind of things. So let's see, how do we get here? Where do we need to go exactly? I'm a little bit lost, to be honest. What does the local map say? Okay, here do we need to get, get in then? Or? Uh, first, let's level up. Let's go with health. Oh. We are uh, diseased, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. We actually do have weakness to sunlight. Yeah. Uh, that means we uh, our points are reduced thirty uh, by thirty in all segments. So let's see. Where do we need to go? Um, Do we really need to go down, maybe? I don't know. Let's quick save. 
Maybe we, this is an elevator of some kind. I don't know. Let's say, let's have a look. Okay. Oh boy, we have all this uh, cool stuff. Um, but I'm going to leave it, except for the Dwarven Arrows, because it's weighed so much, you know, and uh, the value is uh, meh. I'm not going to um, be bothered about it. What I do know is that these guys have a lot of traps, so I want to be careful with that. They have some gems, yeah. Yeah, but it is uh, nice stuff. That's what I do now. Let's see, dwarven arrows, yeah, for sure. We definitely want those. Okay. Um, Let's see, this is a potion here as well. Arrows, sure. All these dwarven arrows, you know, they're pretty nice things. So let's see where we need to go. We can go down here. Oh, an expert chest, hmm. Ah, that is here somewhere. So we might as well continue opening it. Ah, crap. Maybe here? Nope. So it's probably around here then. Yes, awesome. So, what is this? Amulet of RK. Cool. I thought there was a chest here, by the way, which we did miss, but... Yeah, here, right? Crap. I have to be a lot more careful with opening chests, you know, that's... Oh. What the heck, where, where is it then? Somewhere around here? Okay. the heck I having more issues with a freaking adept lock than a expert lock can you believe that like how okay a glass dagger sure we want that yeah let's uh, let's venture further because I think we are almost running out of time yeah about one minute 20 seconds left let's um Let's add my timer and let's just try to get to the entrance where we need to go. Okay. Iron ore, we can take that. Silver ignits. Yeah, we want the ignits for sure. And the gold ore. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I do hear... Okay. Yeah. Too slow. Dwarven bolts. Don't be bothered by that, since I do have um, wool and sprint. Oh man, an apprentice lock chest! I break my freaking lock picks on. Cool, there are pretty nice items here, which we all want for sure. Spell tome. 
gold ore. Yeah, a lot of precious items. Very, very nice. Silver ore. All right. Let's quick save. Because I think we're getting nearer where we need to go. Nope. That was a miss. They have soul gems, which are pretty precious in my opinion. Oh, these stupid uh, drummer gears are um, waiting a lot. Nah, they don't wait a lot, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to do the management later on. First, let's try to get in here. That's probably an elevator, I hope. And now let's see if we're able to... Uh, we need to be in here. What the heck? Stop confusing me, William. So where exactly do we need to be then? Let's see. Um... Can we get down here? You can chase him, it's fine either way. Uh, but yeah, this apparently is also not the way to go. I don't really understand where we need to go. That's so annoying, man. That's... Okay. But yeah, I will uh, I will find it out in the next part. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit thinking where I need to go. But I will find it out in the meanwhile for this next part. So... Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you at the next. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.